the next type of data is the boolean type of data the word boolean means it can have only two values that means either true or false generally true is any non zero number but usually it is one and false is always zero so if the number is negative or non zero it is assumed to be true if the number happens to be zero it is assumed to be false so in programming this concept of true and false is very very frequently used in fact lot of languages have this boolean type of data but i believe in c99 this boolean data type was really introduced so before we actually go to taking a look at how do you declare a boolean type of data i just want to help you understand the concept of true and false let's say i define true as 1 and i define false as 0 so these are pre processor directives what i am doing is i have defined a variable called as test of the type integer so when i say test is equal to true the first time test will take the value 1 now i am changing the value of test with false i make it 0 suppose i had this if conditions we are running a little ahead but it will it's not too difficult to understand i am comparing the value of test with true so since i have changed the value of test to 0 0 is compared with true which happens to be 1 is 0 equal to 1 it is not equal to 1 so nothing will be printed here here it will come test is now 0 false is also 0 is 0 equal to 0 it means it is true or yes then it's going to print this message fail so this is how true and false is used in programming now let's take a look at how we are going to declare a bool type of a variable so first thing you need to understand is this b is in capital and it starts with an underscore and bool is actually a keyword in c programming language so here what i have done is i have declared test which is a variable of the type bool that means test can hold only two values either true or false true means if the value of test is non zero it is true if the value of test is zero that means it is false so in each bool data type is an unsigned integer only that means it can either take the value zero or it has to be a positive number so even if you assign test negative number it will turn out to be taking it as one or positive so bool can be assigned values only zero and one if you try to assign a non zero value to a bool type of variable it will revert back to 1 let's say for example i make test equal to 3 i should be assigning only one or any positive number but i am trying to assign 3 now if i try to print test it's going to print 1 but if i try to test it it's going to do something like this if i say if test print f true so any non zero value is said to be true so since test is not zero it is going to print the value true and it is going to come out now this is you can use this kind of a variable without including any header file but if you want to use the boolean data type including the header file then what you will do is you will include the header file called as stdbool.h in this stdbool.h there is a bool which is declared as a macro for now just don't worry about what is macro bool is defined as something called a macro and also true and false are defined in this standard bool dot h so this theoretical concept will be clear when we take a look at this particular example so here what i am doing is i have included the header file standard io dot h because i am going to print then i have included a header file called as standard bool dot h what it does in this standard bool dot h is it renames bool or it declares an alias for underscore bool as bool what is an alias suppose your name is same michael they may call you as mike so mike is an alias for your name michael similarly bool is a nickname for underscore b capital o o l so instead of using underscore bool i can say bool test now what i am doing is i am saying test equal to true because true has been defined as one in standard bool dot h false in lower case has been defined as zero so since if test is equal to true it is going to print this message true 
and then it is going to come out. So when I give this notes in the description of this video, you can take this piece of code and try to run it in your code blocks or in your online GDBC compiler. You will see the value true being printed. So the bool is an extremely important type of a data type because you will be using it as you write programs because a lot of times you will be doing tests for true and false kind of condition checking. I hope this helps you understand the bool keyword which is used in C programming language.